Stop that! I need that as a template! Um... Don't even bother trying to distract me, Lily. Unlike you, I actually have a sense of duty. You don't get to be Mother Superior's favorite by just standing around like a moron all day. Like you. I work hard to get all those honors and rewards. The only thing I'm missing on my path to perfection is the Golden Girl Scouts badge on a ribbon. That's why I'm working overtime to perfect my embroidering skills. Mother Superior loves the embroidery because the pictures of animals convey important values. But you wouldn't know anything about that. You've always been terrible at embroidering and everything else for that matter. Uh, why don't you get to the point already? You seem to be lacking a few important lessons in values and standards. Haven't you learned anything at all? From my multi-award winning embroidery, each animal has an assigned character trait. Bears represent strength, and deer stand for heroic valor. There are negative role models too, of course. The porcupine, for example, is especially slow and sleepy. That's why you'll never find one on one of my banners. But maybe it's in your family's coat of arms. Um, in case you're wondering what I'm doing here, it's called embroidery. Ah, I know it's not your area of specialty. Otherwise, I doubt Mother Superior would have banned you from taking it. What a shame. I know how much you've always enjoyed embroidering. Lily had to admit that Birgit was right. Her productive friend was really much more talented. But that was certainly no reason for Lily to wish an incurable disease on her. Neither a disease with an oozing rash, nor a disease that causes her to cough her lungs out. Oh, take your little boo-boos to Mother Superior. I'm not her deputy yet. But maybe that'll change once I've collected all my awards. <laughs> I'm already her favorite. Be quiet now. I just had a great idea for what I could put on the missing cafeteria banner. Damn, it's gone. Thanks a lot. Great job, Lily. If you want help, ask Mother Superior about a suitable animal role model. I'm already done with all my patterns. And remember, at this time of day, Mother Superior is always in the cafeteria drinking a soothing tea. So don't wander into her office. We're not supposed to go in there alone. And hurry up! My grades depend on it. Huh? <sighs> Stop bothering me. If you carry on like this, I'll never get my last award. The Golden Girl Scouts badge on a ribbon. Oh, yes. Once again, Lily's efforts were in vain. Only Mother Superior could open the cabinet. A visitor? What a rare, rare, rare animal. The hawk. But I don't mean the remake. I mean the original with, with extra ketchup, please. Uh. uh how rude of me. I forgot to tell you, um, to tell you how it used to be when the pyramids were built. I was the chief flogger on the north side. Yes, yes, in my life I've unified. Unified Tibet, I said. Back then I served as a carpet beater under three different Dalai Lamas. For one of them, I was even there as a rebirth assistant in the maternity ward. It was very different from the year I was an interior decorator for the Mayas. Build a mythical sliding puzzle here, hide a few artifacts in dark alcoves over there. 
Oh yes, I was building secret crypts when you were still in... in... in the indie band Inquisition Overload. But it flopped, unfortunately. The time wasn't right for that kind of music. Plus, our drummer had the plague. Uh, I got old. So old that all I'm good for now is as an exhibition piece for history, Cla... Cla... I'll get to that in a moment. First, I wanted to tell you... Telling stories takes a lot of skill. That's why I worked for a while as an exhibition piece for history class in a convent school. I just had to tell stories about my adventures once a week. For example, how I used to excavate secret crypts with the Templars below the school chapel. Or about my time as a lighting assistant for the moon landing. Mm. I'll get to that in a moment. First, I wanted to tell you... Telling stories takes a lot of skill. That's why I worked for a while as an exhibition piece for history class in a convent school. I just had to tell stories about my adventures once a week. For example, how I used to excavate secret crypts with the Templars below the school chapel. Or about my time as a lighting assistant for the moon landing. Hey, don't touch it! That's my old Boy Scout equipment. Only certified Boy Scouts are allowed to touch it. Hey! Don't touch it! That's my old Boy Scout equipment. I might be old, but I can... I can tell you stories that'll make your ears ring. Some of them are about my old Boy Scout equipment. But only certified Boy Scouts are allowed to touch it. So get your hands... Hands... Oh. Firecrackers, how did they ever get up there? A note was pinned on the receipt holder. Dear, crossed out, Ms. Zimmelback, I have to say I'm very surprised by the way you fulfilled my request to send me a pet for my student's classroom. I had a real animal in mind, one that conveyed important values, like a puma or a boa constrictor. But the guinea pig you sent is useless to me. I've pickled it in alcohol to save it for the dissection class in biology. Send me a proper animal immediately, or you will not have heard the l l last of me. Regardless, Mother Superior Ignorance. Lily could just forget about that idea. Lily didn't want to spoil her nice friendship with the flower. Plants were the only things that still listened to her.
Lily was worried about hurting the guinea pig. As clumsy as she tended to be, she'd probably need help getting it out. Lily ruefully thought about the debacle with a dwarf rabbit. Dawdling. Feed the cat. And don't forget to remind Burgett to finish the embroidery. If the self-control motif isn't finished today, I will really blow my top. Self-control is important! <sighs> now leave. I have to drink a calming tea. The liquid smelled like Doris's breath, or the cap of the lawnmower's fuel tank, which Lily loved to play with. Lily had always liked the large painting in the main hall. It showed a dining table after a big meal, with a man in the center who had found the last cookie. Lily giggled at the thought that he would eat it all by himself, no matter how much the others begged. The guinea pig had bathed long enough. It was quite wrinkled. Lily thought this idea was delightful. The guinea pig was bound to make a huge impression as an animal role model. At least this is a regular animal motif. But do you think it also conveys really important values? Of course it did. Guinea pigs were cute and small, but always cheerful. Lily always tried to follow their example. Uh-huh. Hmm. Well, if you say so. Come back in a few minutes. If you don't bother me, I won't take long. Excited! I just have to find out what she thinks of my latest banner. Ah, Birgit has finally finished the new banner, but. What's that? A small, 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 d -d dirty guinea pig? Birgit didn't really make this, did she? Uh huh. That can't, that can't be true. Can I not rely on anyone here? Just you wait. She'll get what's coming to her. The banner was a disgrace. Get rid of it!
can't even tell you how disappointed I am in you, Birgit. This is the worst job I've seen in my entire career. But... Don't talk back. You are bad. I will probably have to strip you of all your awards, prizes, and Girl Scout badges. You no longer deserve any of them. But I only did what? Hogwash. Do you really wish to contradict me? I can't believe how low you've sunk, Birgit. A guinea pig? It's unbelievable. Your work is an insult to the entire convent. Get rid of it. I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't mean to. <laughs> your whining won't make up for your failures. Just in case you decide not to waste my time with your ineptitude anymore. Here is a motif that's worth immortalizing on a banner. The puma. Strong. Precise. Dignified. A symbol of self c c control. Stop that! I need that as a template! Lily would have liked to comfort Birgit. But on the other hand, it really was her own fault. Lily hoped for Birgit's sake that she would try a little harder with the puma motif. You seem so tense. Is something wrong? Lily would have liked to tell him her troubles, but she didn't want to give Edna away. Uh-uh. Well, if you need anything, I'm always there for you. I worry about you, you know? Leave me alone. I'm finished with you ch ch children Making progress? Stay away from us! You're out of your mind running around here with real exp- Much too hardcore. That won't work. Down with the dark! That's exactly what I need. Now, if I only knew where to drill. But such knowledge was probably lost long ago. No one is old enough to still remember the age of the Templars. Otherwise, I'm sure I'd have long since had that church conspiracy by the scruff of its neck. Oh well, I'll just start. Damn, how am I supposed to work with all this noise? Frank! Frank! Ah, what the hell? A surveillance room. 
That was the hard evidence that Garrett was spying for Mother Superior. Lily wasn't allowed to play with the things she found in the chapel, but that didn't matter. She also had fun just looking at the board. Making progress? Um, um. Before you say anything, I thought of something else. I think Garrett has a secret hiding place in the chapel. Uh, yeah, a kind of listening station in the confession booth. This should prove once and for all that he's spying for Mother Superior. The question is whether we can somehow use this knowledge against him. Uh huh. Lily actually had an idea. She would lock Garrett in his secret room. She could hardly wait to tell her best friend all about it. Wait, I know. What if we locked Garrett in his secret surveillance room? Just pretend you want to give confession, and when he's in his hiding place, wham! Our trap will snap shut on him. <sighs> oh, don't be sad, Lily. I'm sure you'll come up with a good idea next time. But for now, let's get to work. It was my plan, so now you have to set it in motion. Um. <laughs> wait a minute. What's that? Do you hear those noises too? <sighs> I think someone's drilling inside the chapel. <sighs> it's probably just Frank looking for evidence of a church conspiracy again. Dang, that could ruin our plans. If Garrett can't listen in on you, we won't be able to lock him in his hiding place. You have to think of something to get rid of Frank. Did you happen to find the plans for my time machine? Uh-uh. Eh, they weren't finished yet anyway. Hmm. How big is the microwave oven in the school cafeteria? Um... Ah, forget it. That won't work. And all my other ideas are a little complicated. We don't have time for them. I guess the easiest thing to do would be to help him with his search. Once Frank has found what he's looking for, he'll hopefully stop drilling. There were three empty pedestals on the shelf. That could mean something. Or nothing at all. Hmm? W what Do we know each other? Uh-huh. Uh. Hmm? W w what Oh, oh I, I must have dropped off for a moment. But I was just going to tell you an exciting story from my past. Was it the story of how I tried to navigate to Cape Town and ended up discovering the Eurasian continent? Uh-uh. Oh, I know. I wanted to tell you how I helped the Templar Knights build the convent chapel. Right? Uh-huh. I was particularly happy because I had eaten a banana. Or oh, was I sad because all there was to eat was coconuts again? No, the coconuts were when the Trojan mayor gave me the key to the city for my heroic valor. Or was my heroic valor while building dikes in Atlantis? But I think I had an apple that day. 
Wasn't I a little more sleepy in Atlantis? And angry while building the chapel? Oh, what poppycock. I'm getting everything mixed up. Fortunately, I created a memory aid just for this anecdote, so that I'd remember the location of the secret crypts below the convent chapel. Uh-oh. Someone tidied up the shelf. That's where the objects for my three E's should be. Emotion, engagement, and eating. Now I can't... Um, oh, can't make a fool of myself. Now let's see... It looked like the termites had found a new home. And one of the gnomes that Lily saw now and then was in the process of painting it in various colors. Too bad that Freeman was no longer here. He would probably have liked it too. The embroidery was of a unicorn with eight legs. Lily loved the unusual embroidery more than anything, but she didn't know who had made it. When asked about it, Mother Superior was even more vexed than usual. Edna had apparently left an inscription here. Lily was touched. Edna was Lily's best friend. Lily missed the termites. Somehow the trees seemed so sad without them. Stay away from us! You're out of your mind running around here with real explosives. Much that won't- Down with the- How am I supposed to work with all this noise? Hey! Frank! Frank! Ah, oh, what the hell?
A surveillance room. The good old confession booth. Lily had been coming here often since the self-flagellation had stopped working. A survey... What? Eh. Huh? What? I'm sorry, but I can't understand you. You have to speak a little louder. My ears are still ringing from the drilling. B Whatever you come up with, I can think of a better conversation topic. Templars. They traveled the world before inopportune times. Actually, they were the ones who made that age inopportune. All day long, they barely did anything else than plan church conspiracies. Sometimes, even during breakfast, between their Nutella and their first cup of joe. Oh. Uh. Shh! You're destroying the holy illuminescence of the stone slabs. And if they lose their illuminescence, they certainly won't be in the mood to reveal their secret anymore. And there's no doubt that they have a secret. I know Templar symbols when I see them. Where there are Templars, a secret crypt with details on church conspiracies can't be far. If only I knew which slab to look under, but such knowledge was probably lost long ago. No one is old enough to still remember the age of the Templars. Otherwise, I'm sure I'd have long since had that church conspiracy by the scruff of its neck. If it's one that has a neck, because there are those with a neck, and those without. Lily was impressed. Everything Frank said made sense. Perfect. The hairpin fit exactly into the holes. Lily thought she had found the right tool to loosen the tiny screws, but it was just another way to waste time. This was certainly not the ideal tool to loosen the screw, and as long as Lily didn't have a compelling reason, she didn't have to take the risk. Hmm? What? 
Do we know each other? Uh-huh. Oh, wait. Wasn't I just about to tell you something? Fortunately, I created a memory aid just for this anecdote. Ah, exactly. Now I remember. On that day, I was particularly... angry. We had just laid the stone slabs in the chapel when the Templar Knights returned from a secret meeting. They examined my work and praised me for doing a heroic job. Then they gave me a coconut. It was one of the greatest days of my life. Here, I even still have the book in which I wrote everything down, including the meaning of the secret Templar symbols on the stone slabs. And now please leave me alone. All this reminds me too much of how I once helped a little girl uncover the mystery of the secret crypt below the chapel. One day I really have to tell you that story. What do you have there? Let me see. My goodness! That does look very interesting. Uh-huh. Let's see. Hmm. At least those are the same symbols as on the stone slabs. But the pattern is full of gaps. I'm a pro when it comes to riddles. That's why all I need is a single glance to be able to declare without a doubt that, yes, this is a riddle. But the solutions page seems to be missing. This book is useless to me like that. Unless, of course, you have the solution.
Yes! Yes! That has to be it! I have solved the mystery! Thanks for holding the book all this time. You're blocking the way. May I? As soon as Frank stopped drilling, Lily was finally able to draw Garrett out of his shell. Lily crouched inside the confession booth and waited. All was quiet in the chapel, except for Frank, who could barely contain his excitement. Wow! If these bones aren't evidence of a church conspiracy, I'll eat Tom Hanks' double chin! And what's that? Hey! This just keeps going! Let me just drill through this stone slab and... What's that? A sword! A real Templar sword? It's incredible! Man, it sure is wedged in tightly. I hope that isn't a load-bearing strut beam. The impact echoed through the entire church. Lily was tempted to look, but then she heard approaching steps. Ah, it's so blissfully quiet. I can finally take up my listening post again. 